You Raise Me Up, um, I guess 17 years later for us, is still a very important song, you know. Uh, and we still perform it in every concert we're doing. Obviously it is a song that people know very well uh, and has, it has become a signature song for us. It started as a very simple instrumental melody uh, in 2001, actually here in Kristiansand. And uh, we realized very soon that uh, it had that type of story that needed words. Uh, and um, we developed that story through uh, the lyrics by Brandon Graham in, in, in Ireland. And, you know, it, that's when you say the rest is history, because it is, you know, we released it in 2001. Uh, it was covered by so many artists until it was uh, covered by Josh Groban and then Westlife and all that and became a hit. But it's, uh, for us, it's still a very important uh, song and important part of Secret Garden, I feel. Um, and maybe in a way it's been a template for, for many songs since, you know, that we are also produced. Uh, the format of the song, the way it's balanced between an instrumental part and a vocal part, the way the arrangement has been developed. Uh, I'd say that, you know, it's a typical Secret Garden song in many ways and maybe there are elements of the new songs that you can even see, you know, the way we produce them in, in particular, the format of the songs, the use of orchestra, the mix of Irish and Norwegian. Uh, and maybe even the, the, the theme of the, the lyrics. So um, uh, it's, it's very much related to what we're doing even today. I, I think You Raise Me Up for us has been interesting over the years because we've played it, you know, performed it live in so many different formats. And it's one of these songs that it can work in, 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 you know, performed in a very small, intimate way. Sometimes we, when we do an acoustic lineup, we, we perform it with Katrina Everson. And it, with just so that's just solo soprano, and it, it's very beautiful. Or else we can we've done it with you know the full orchestra choir and two singers. So, um, you know, I think we've performed it in every key it there is. Level, yeah, yeah, it really it really does work. And I think it's nice now that even 17 years. I didn't realise it was 17 years until you said that. Um, that. Brian Kennedy, who was the, the first released recording of You Raise Me Up, is back with us on this new album, Performing Beautiful. Um, there's kind of, there's a nice sort of full circle feeling mm. about this. You know, when we didn't work for a few years after um, You Raise Me Up, we realised that when we came back together again that the whole, our website, our people looking for us and listening to us hadn't changed so there was it was the first time that Ralph and I realized that actually now the, the music that we've put out and particularly Raise Me Up has become bigger than the two of us so that it's kind of gained a life of its own. I don't think there's anywhere we go that that once you know people mention it or hear it that they, they know this song. I think that's uh, you know the ultimate reward in a way mm. that if a song if something we play and perform and write becomes part of people's lives, that they, um, they, um, they read their own story into it and they select that music for maybe important events in their own life and that that music actually is something that came from us. Mm. That's sort of the ultimate reward, you know, you're, you're very thankful when that happens and uh, it certainly has happened with uh, You Raise Me Up and, and some, of, some of our music in general. So there's nothing more inspiring than that actually.